Oh my goodness, man! You know what? What? It is a hump day, but we are blessed to have uh, a friend of the show with us today, Reed. Yeah. Uh, very own Chuck Jones. Sideline story, Chuck Side Jones. Story. That's right. Chuck always give us a little, little, little lap. Yeah, we got his nose in yeah, everything. Yeah, I think he got a special guest on, on today. We're talking, talking some serious stuff today. Yeah, uh, I have a former NC State star, uh, two-time NBA champion. You know, uh, father of three, just a all-around great guy, mm-hmm. NC Pro Am alum. That's Josh right. Powell on the phone. That's right. What's up, Josh? What's going on? Good morning. How's everybody? Hey, doing? good morning. Good morning. Good. Glad to have you. Hey, man. We Thank um you. we really appreciate you coming yeah. on this morning. You know, everybody in the sports world. You know, this this weekend was tough, man. And I just wanted to, you know, we wanted to reach out to someone like you that you know, kind of that knew him very well and kind of go through, you know, maybe what your thoughts was. I, we don't really want to make you revisit it, but I know it was, you know, a big up and down time for you. I know mm-hmm. your birthday was this weekend and mm-hmm. I know you were probably celebrating and then, you know, that news came across and, you know, just uh, kind of see, you know, what your mindset was and, you know, what what did, you, what did it make you think about, you know, when you heard about that? Well, I, I mean, I think for one, I think it's not only myself, but I think this is something that everybody's going to revisit for I don't. I don't think this is something that'll ever die down. It's. It's like, you know, Kobe was an icon. Mm-hmm. Is an icon. Mm-hmm. Um. I mean, that, he he's that big and had that type of impact. Whether you knew him or you did, that was the that was the thing about him and and how he lived his life is when you can touch people the way that you do, mm-hmm. and people don't even know you like that. And people name their kids after you. People tattoo your face on their bodies or, mm. you know, represent the 8 or the 24 or buy your shoes or mm. just whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I think that's big in itself. So I'm a, I'm a, I always relive it because, I mean, shoot, when I lace them up or when I work out, I'm in a pair of Kobe Bryant's. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. that's my that's my shoe. <laughs> you know what I mean, and and will forever be my shoe, and especially now, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna rock anybody else's when I'm on the court. Yeah. Um. So it just it is what it is with that man. But as far as the news and, and how I felt about it, I mean, it's it's just shocking, man. You know. Yeah, man. I, I'm I'm coming off of um. I'm coming off Anthony Grundy a month or so ago. Um, oh, that oh, that's, whole right. Situation. Yeah, that's right. That's um, right. That's right. That's a, a that was like my big bro, like, and that happened. And then right before Grundy, a couple of weeks before that, I, you know, what I'm saying my partner Andre Emmett uh, lost his life. So I, I, I haven't been able to honestly catch a break to be real with you. And um, mm. you know, somebody like. You know, Kobe, the the consensus, like, a, across the board is just how people look at him as, like, a superhuman. And how he's been able to overcome everything and for it to happen like this is, like, God. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't have the right words for it, man. It's just it's messed up. Certainly devastating news on yeah. Sunday. Um, and now all we have is just to look at his legacy. What's something that just stands out about Kobe Bryant that you'll keep with you um, kind of at the forefront of your mind when you think about Kobe Bryant? Queen, it ain't got nothing to do with basketball. Mm-hmm. It's, it's the husband that he he was. It's the father that he was. Mm-hmm. That's those, right. those two things stick out to me the most because I remember – you know, when I was married and just in my relationship, the advice that I would get from him, um, you know, the things that he'd been through and how he grown and matured, you know, mm-hmm. he gave me a lot of tutelage, like, as a as a husband. And then as a father, you know, watching him with his kids and how present he was and how he showed up and he just did the best that he could do day in and day out. You know, he is it was a standard set because I've been I've been a part of his day to day, you know. Yeah. And I've seen not only from the basketball demands but just business. You know, he's a brand. So that man, his schedule would be so crazy and the fact that he was just carve out time mm. whether it was to show up for a birthday party, a hug, 
whatever. Like, he found a way to balance it. You know what I'm saying? So, I knowing what he, you know, I just know how he showed up for me in moments that I had special moments, and he showed up for me. So, I, I can only imagine, you know, aside from the things that I know, even the things that I don't know, how he showed up for his family and what he did to make sure to let them know that he was there. Yeah, I follow you heavy on social media, and I, I saw – I saw, you know, you pretty much had the same reaction that I had to the, you know, to the, the news. You know, it made you just want to grab your kids and just tell them, you know, you love them and, you know, you're going to be there for them because, you know, he died doing something with his daughter, you know, and that that made it, you know, that made you feel it that much more, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And, and I think the other thing, you know, obviously from a basketball standpoint, what he means again to people, um, but I, I, it's interesting when you start seeing people, um, you start seeing fathers, especially black fathers, you know what mm. I'm saying, which I feel like we don't get our due anyway. Mm -hmm. um, but you start seeing fathers, you know, wanting to go even harder. Um, you start seeing husbands um, wanting to go even harder. Um, mm. Just how he made that cool. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. this, for for us to have somebody to see, and, 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 and I'm just going to be real. Like, I'm just, I'm just trying to think, like, you know, I know Will Smith has been somebody, like, I, I follow and I admire what Will, you know, like their whole get down, mm -hmm. MJ to, like, I think it's dope. And, but from a, from a, from a player standpoint, you know, mm -hmm. Kobe, and then LeBron. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. LeBron, fathers, husbands, and he just he just does it on another level, and he don't, he don't get his due. You know what I'm saying? Like, we'll break down and critique everything else, but it's like that man is there for his kids. He's there for his wife. He puts her on the, the pedestal and what your queen should be. Mm -hmm. And it's like the same thing with Kobe. You know, I've seen him in action live, how he – um, holds Vanessa how he, you know, would pull her chair out or make sure, you know, if she's cold, he'll take his jacket off and put it on, place it on her shoulders. Like, just just stuff that I'm like, okay, Bean, I see what you're doing. You're making it hard for me in my house. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I got to I gotta step it up, but it's like, but you can't do nothing but respect that. that that's, that's what I appreciate about him because he's going to raise your level as a man. He's going to raise your level as a husband, he's gonna raise a level as a father, and he's damn sure gonna raise a level as a player. So, mm. I mean, that's just how he was. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we're talking to Josh Powell, NBA champion, two time NBA champion, former NC State great. Uh, and, and Josh, you know, I always, I, I think I saw a lot of videos, particularly when you guys won championships out there in LA. Let's talk about Kobe, the guy, the, let's talk about him as a player, his drive. What What is it about him that's We've been hearing a lot about here recently that, that he said he has a different kind of motor than most people I would imagine that you played with before. So, you know, I that, that was one of the things that made me and him close is because we shared the motor. Mm -hmm. um, what separates him from everybody, though, in my opinion, you know, is his attention to detail. Mm. You know, you're talking about somebody um, – who the way he studies life, the game. I mean, you're talking about a guy who spoke multiple languages. Yeah. Um, I was just with Lamar this morning, and he was like, man, it's like Bean got a photographic memory. Like, he can listen to a song one time and know it word for word. Like, he just wasn't normal. You wow. know what I'm saying? Yes. Like, just how he was with everything and, and his preparation. And he just always seemed to be five, six, ten steps ahead with everything. And and he was fearless, you know what I'm saying? Like his confidence, it was just next level. Like he just didn't, like he didn't care. He gonna do him. He gonna be him. Mm. And that's what he encouraged. You know what I mean? And he yeah. just had that that swagger about himself. Man, I'm sitting here, and, <laughs> and all this stuff that you're giving me is, is stuff that you want to give your kids. You know, you just want them to hear it because just excellence man it just you, you're just giving us examples of his excellence and i think that's what people are celebrating right now just the excellence and 
is there any story that you have from, you know, your championship run, you know, maybe something when you were down or when times got tough that, you know, he did or said to motivate you guys? To be honest, man, half the time, he didn't really have to say nothing. His presence was that strong. It was that powerful. Um, and, and when he did say something, he was just like, we're going to be all right. We got this. I got this. Y'all just follow me. Wow. And it's just that simple, man. It's, it's nothing. It's nothing more, nothing less. It's just, you know, I don't, I don't know how many of y'all or parents or whatever, but it, it would be no different than you telling your kid that, or if you got a friend or somebody that's close to you that looks up to you for guidance, and you know, whenever they're going through something, they always call y'all. So it's, it's like it's like the exact same thing. Mm. It's just like he comes in there, man, with that, with his chest out, with that cape flowing, and it's just like, shit, everything gonna be okay. Yep. Exactly. Oh man, that's 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 tough, man. I, like I said, man, I I, it hurt. It hurt Sunday. It messed up my my day. Was messed up. I haven't been able to watch ESPN. Yeah. Um, to be honest with you, this is the first day I really listened to the show because I just couldn't, you know, just couldn't take looking at it. it. It was just too much. It feels like it's somebody you grew up with because you just, you know, appreciate the excellence that you know he personified out there, man. But um, what are some what are some of the things you you're doing now, man? I know you you sure, life sure. after basketball. Um, we saw you in the big three. You look great out there, man. I thought you were coming back last week. I joked with you. I thought you were in China last week playing. <laughs> what are what are some of the things you're doing right now? Um, aside from the big three, uh, I know you had a sports agency, or I saw you had some players that you were working with right now. Yeah, so aside from the big three, um, I'm doing uh, – I actually just started a uh, training company with myself, Dion Glover, and Andre Sandoval. Um, mm. So basically we're working with kids, like, and we're giving them a pro experience. So it's something that's a lot different um, than what a lot of people are doing. Um, I've done – or still doing some consulting for a financial – firm and as well as um having a sports agency uh with another with uh, another Wolfpack alumni Jamie Knox okay and um yeah. yeah just been plugging away man and, and I also got to take the time to plug Next Level Boys Academy which is a yeah um you know a place that I've been working with and doing some mentoring with um so just being on the ground and, and you know, obviously my kids come first within all of that, but I'm just making sure I'm being intentional and then every day I wake up, you know, just making sure I live out my purpose, you know what I mean, just serve. Mm. That's what's up, man. Hey, man, well, we really appreciate it. Oh, absolutely, you. we do. Really appreciate it. I know that was, uh, you know, it's a tough conversation, man, being that that was your friend, man, and we really appreciate you taking time this morning to come and talk to us. Thank you. I appreciate y'all for having me. All right. Thank you, man. That was great stuff. Yep.